welcome to Bester Day, where nostalgia reigns supreme. I'm Emily. And I'm Bianca. And we're 90s, 90s babies. babies. <laughs> okay, so just in case you don't know by now, Bester Day is the podcast where we reminisce on the songs that had your little kid heart and the movies that made you laugh and everything pop culture from the 80s to the early aughts. So think like middle school dances. The, um... The turkeys I used to make with your hands in elementary school. Yes, thank yeah. the <laughs> so precious. <laughs> Team Nick, Feed Lizards, um, Pokemon, Pokemon cards. and a lot of Hey Arnold fun facts. <laughs> Which is like Bianca's entire life. Yeah. Um, so before we get started, make sure to tag hashtag Besterday on Twitter and Instagram and wherever. Make sure to send us your suggestions and rate us on iTunes. Also, follow me at Emily Lindner and Bianca at Bianca and Rogue. And please excuse our grogginess. We are both We're suffering both sick. from a cold. It's because we sit next to each other. Yes. <laughs> so, let's get started. Okay. All right, guys. So, this week in history, there are some, like, very old school things that happen that are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the Price is Right, which is, like, one of my favorite, like, shows to watch whenever you're sick. Me too. At home. It's like it's always on. Um, that debuted on NBC in 1956. I always watch that show. Bob Barker is like my He's favorite like animal. He's like the old OG. But Drew Carey's on now. Oh, yeah. So. But Bob Barker, that's like, I grew up on watching Bob Barker. Yeah, yeah. he's kind of like, well, Alex Trebek is the same way. It's like they'll never mm-hmm. leave their respective talk shows no, until like can't. the very end yeah. where they're just like, Okay, I guess I have to, like, give it up for somebody. But they <laughs> were on, like, forever. I know. Yeah. Good and job. then also over across the pond in the U.K., Doctor Who debuted in 1963. Oh, I always see that. They're playing that on BBC America, which yeah. is in our building. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cross promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to BBC America. <laughs> and a big movie, um, Rocky, starring Sylvester Stallone. Premiered 40 years ago in 1976, and it won not one, not two, but three Academy Awards for wow. best. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Best picture, best director, and best film editing. Hey Bianca, yeah. Do you remember when we were in Philly and we tried to run up the Rocky? Steps? Oh my God! And then they said it was closed off because right, it was closed off, right? Because yeah. they couldn't. They had like the stage setup thing. But there was a good reason why it was closed off. Oh, yeah, because Rihanna. Because <laughs> Rihanna was sound checking for Made in America, and we got to listen to yeah, it and, and see I her. had, like, a mental breakdown, and it was amazing. Yes, <laughs> all because we wanted to run the Rocky Sense, yeah. which we didn't know. If we didn't have accessible. that passion, we'd have never seen seen her sound check. Such a good movie. It I'm always going to think about that. I <laughs> when I see that movie, I'm going to think of that moment. Thanks, Rihanna. <laughs> And lastly, Psy Gang- Gangnam Style became the most viewed video of all time on YouTube in 2012. And it still is the most viewed. Yeah. I remember, I'm trying to remember the first time where when I heard Gangnam Style. I was definitely in college. I just, I, did, I was like, what is this phenomenon that's happening yeah. right now? I was like, I was so confused. I thought it was a joke at first, but then like, he's like, I mean, he's, it's not a real musician, but he took this so seriously and became like an international phenomenon. No, he is real. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is legit. I remember. I'm not trying to take away his like cred. Oh, but. sorry. <laughs> I remember I was like, it was pretty much like my first week at work, my first job ever at yeah. MTV. And I, the, one of my new coworkers was just watching this video on her screen. She was like, what is this? I'm adding this to my running playlist. And ever since then, I always have that first memory. I think a lot of people might remember the first time that they've seen that video, because mm-hmm. it was so ridiculous and high budget. And then so I had tried to, you know, do it again with Gentlemen, but it didn't quite it make didn't it. didn't live up to the legacy of Gangnam Style. But um, wait, I just wrote up the story um, a few weeks ago where Gentlemen finally reached that two billion point. Or oh, something. cool! Yeah. Good so for Psy. Yeah, but it took it didn't have like the virality of Gangnam yeah. Style. <coughs> oh no! <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna have a segment about the stuff that's happened in today's news that kind of reminds us of 
yesterday yes. or yesterday. Or yesterday. Yeah. Um, so in today's news, um, this week we got the stream of Eminem's 1996 song Infident for the first time. And that's off of his very first album um, that was only printed uh, 500 times. So not a lot of people got it. But um, the song was streaming for the first time, and it's actually, like, really good. Uh, and it's, it's like, not as intense, I guess, as mm-hmm. his music that we know him for. Yeah, cause, because I didn't know about the first album until, like, a few months ago. And I was like, whoa. Like, this is, like, because I'm a big Eminem fan. I was like, this just, like, opened a whole new window. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah was he cool. was only 24 when he recorded I it. I know. He was younger than me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so we also <laughs> have, so did you guys watch the AMAs? Did you watch the AMAs, Bianca? I watched it for like 20 minutes and then I turned it off. And oh. I watched Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> did you w- see the moment where Drake and Mina Dobrev met on stage? I missed it, but I saw the moment on Fuse.tv. Oh, okay. Because Emily Lindner <laughs> wrote the article. <laughs> um, so, yeah, apparently that there was a, a Degrassi moment or Degrassi. How yeah. do you say it? I say Degrassi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, as you all know, Drake was on Degrassi yeah. um, in Canada growing up, but apparently Nina Dobrev was too. Okay. Yeah, she was on like the later seasons, like, but Drake is like the OG of the show. So they had this cute moment at the American Music Awards where Nina Dobrev was presenting him the award for best rap album for views, and um, she handed it off to them, and they hugged or whatever. It was adorable. Mm-hmm. And then when he was giving his like acceptance speech, he shouted her out and was like hey we were both on Degrassi yeah. together uh look how far we've come you know you're congrats on all your success and then he went on about views but I think that was pretty cute and it is adorable they really come a long way started started from, from the, the bottom, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> now they're superstars yeah it was just a I think it was a good moment for Degrassi yeah. fans and then some more news for you we're just rolling with just the news today on. Um, Dave Chappelle announced that he's going to have three Netflix specials. That is huge. It is huge because this guy has pretty much been a recluse for the past, you know, 18 years. I or know. Or like, years it's been whatever. forever. And so now he's coming out doing SNL, mm. and now he has three Netflix specials. Um, two of them are have already been recorded. It, uh, one was, like, from South by Southwest, and they were just basic s- sets that he already did. Yeah. But this is pretty cool because he hasn't had a comedy special in 18 years. Yeah, I'm excited for that because he is, like, he is such a funny person. But I love that he keeps things so real and raw. Like, he's not afraid to go there. Like, yeah. how, what he did with um, the SNL monologue, like, calling out Donald Trump and everything. Yeah. So that would be cool to see, like, what current events he ties into these, uh, these specials. I think that something... That one skit that he he did, um, my mom just reminded me of the other day, where he was like the Ku Klux Klan member, and but he was blind. Yeah, he was blind. <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes <laughs> of the Chappelle Show. <laughs> like he didn't know he was black. It was so funny. But it just kind of reminds me of what's going on mm-hmm. today, where like people uh, are just doing really hateful things, and it almost is like they're it's like they're blind. Yeah, like they don't see. Like when I saw yesterday that. T- Tequila Tequila was doing like the Heil Hitler mm-hmm. thing. I was just like, do you not see that you? Yeah, are you're not a Vietnamese American. Like you're not white. Yeah, why are you <laughs> part of like the white supremacist movement? Yeah, that that's exactly. It thought it reminded me of yeah, Dave Chappelle. That's a good um, parallel. So yeah, crazy. That is. That's I wild. I really do think that. Or uh, um, when they announced the specials, the CEO of Netflix was like. He is hilarious, blah, 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 the, all the nice things they have to say. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, his voice is really necessary right now. And I was like, yeah, Ooh. his voice is really necessary right now because he's not afraid to, like you said, go there. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And perhaps not as political, but maybe <laughs> dark. Um, <laughs> the Cars 3 teaser came out yesterday. Okay, can I just tell you? So I wrote the story up. If you guys haven't seen it on Fuse, check it out. I thought, because I watched the first Cars, I didn't watch the sequel, but, like, the original one was so vibrant and so fun. I was like, oh, cool, this is going to be, like, an enjoyable teaser. Little did I know, it was dark AF. Like, 
Lightning, uh, it's the return of Lightning McQueen, and, like, you see him, like, taking, a, like, a tumble, like, this crazy car crash, and, like, all the colors are muted and dark, and I'm like, why is this so somber? It's supposed to be a kid's movie. And I was, like, reading an article that rounded up, like, all of the parents' reactions, and they're oh, like, man. they're like, oh, my God, this is not suitable for kids. Like, I'm not going to let my child watch this. Why did Disney Pixar, like, take this route for the movie, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is... I didn't. I had a feeling it was gonna cause some stir, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that controversial. That's really so, interesting because yeah. I think that a lot of their sequels kind of get dark. Like I remember in Toy Story three. Yeah. When, when they were going down the the chute. Yes, and they were get about burnt. to get burned yeah, to know. death. And I was just like, this is really, really morbid. Yeah. So when I saw Car- the Cars three teaser. Which, first of all, is only, like, what, 10, 15 seconds? It's not that long at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, just to see that, I was like, uh, damn. Mm. Like, is Lightning <coughs> Lightning McQueen gonna, you know, pass away <laughs> as a car? Know. There was, like, sparks flying everywhere. Yeah, it was very, very gloomy. Yeah. We're, but, well, like, granted, it was only 10 seconds of, like, what, an hour and a half movie, probably. This is so. true. Yeah, I guys, be hashtag fine. best story. Let us know if you guys are going to see Cars 3. It comes out uh, summer of next year. so. Yeah, I'll be interested to know, too. Yeah. All right, guys. So before we head on into our holiday special, I just want to shout out um, these two anniversaries. Pink's Misunderstood, her second album, turns 15 this week. And also, Michael Jackson's Dangerous, his eighth album, turns 25. Oh, yeah. I wanted to um, say that I listen to Misunderstood. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's so good. It is. (laughs) I mean, it's, I love to see the, I mean, I liked Pink's R&B days, but it was cool to see her go, like, completely 180 and, like, just be like, okay, I'm a rock chick. This is what I'm going to do. Although like, Family Portrait is still kind of it's still kind of R and B ish, yeah. I mean, because Scott Family Storch produced Portrait. it. Scott yeah. Swor- Storch got robbed <coughs> a few years ago, a few blocks from here. Did he really? Yeah. That's so bad. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry because I know that he's fallen on some hard times. But yes, <laughs> plenty of hard times. Poor, poor Storch. Uh, just fun fact. Anyways, so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Family Portrait. <laughs> Anyways, it is Thanksgiving. Yes. By the time people are listening to this, it will be Thanksgiving. It will be Thanksgiving. So, let's right. talk about some Thanksgiving memories. Yeah. So, basically, we're thinking of kind of looking back at some of our favorite epi- like episodes that are Thanksgiving-themed. So, that would be fun. Yeah. What's yeah. your... Do you have any favorites? Um, so, as you guys know, I, like, only watch cartoons. <laughs> So, my first one is... You are like a four-year-old at heart. I am. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. I, I own it. So, my first um, episode that I really liked was... It's called Turkey in a Can, and it's on Bob's Burgers. Oh. Yeah. This episode premiered uh, actually three years to the date um, it premiered. Oh. Yeah. So, not entirely throwback. Yeah. But, but still... It's still c- Nostalgic for three years yeah. ago. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite Bob's Burgers episodes ever. So I love that show. Bob, he tries to get a turkey and tries to brine it, but he, he keeps waking up and putting the turkey in the, in the in toilet. The toilet. <laughs> and he doesn't know why, but he's like, because he takes these uh, allergy pills because he's allergic to Gail. That's his sister-in-law's like cat. Yeah. So he's like, why the hell am I keep putting this turkey in the toilet? And then, like, Linda and the kids, like, try to follow him to see why he's putting it in. And he calls a turkey Tina because he misses potty training Tina as a kid. So, like, he uses a turkey to, like, cut a potty train. It's such a weird episode. It's so strange, but it's, like, it's so funny. And I also like when um he kind of, like, f- kind of flirts with the butcher at the, at the <laughs> supermarket <laughs> because the butcher thinks... He- <laughs> Bob is it to him, but Bob is, of course, married. But it's just, like, the commentary between them is really funny. 
That's so a really good episode. And favorite. it's like so dumb. I really want to know what the writers were on when they wrote that. Right? Because it's such a, it's one of the more strange episodes, but yeah. it's just, it's really funny. They were like, uh, okay, you guys, this is what we're going to do for the Buzz for your <laughs> Thanksgiving episode. We're going to throw a turkey in the toilets. Multiple times. <laughs> and it's just going to keep happening and it's going to still be funny. And it is. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Um, you want me to go again? Yeah, I sure. Have, I'm I, gonna keep them coming. I think I feel like you have more than I do. I really only okay. Just right. keep going. <laughs> so another one. Okay, this is like an actual throwback. This one premiered in 1997, and it is the Rugrats Thanksgiving special. <laughs> <The> I was <laughs> just looking at screencasts <laughs> from that episode. <laughs> the turkey who came to dinner. So oh, basically, <laughs> I love. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Okay, gobble, gobble. it's perfect ad libs here. All right, so Grandpa Lou, he couldn't buy a turkey for the family. So, of course, his grandchildren try to help him out. So they see a turkey in the backyard, and they try to capture it <laughs> to, like, bring it inside the house. And it's, like, a very adventurous episode, like, actually, like, of them trying to get the turkey. Because, you know, turkeys are fast. So They're really, um, really, really fast. But yeah, they can't really fly that well. No. I don't think this is maybe... A weird thing, but can turkeys fly? They can fly like, like very not. short distances. Okay, because they're so fat and they have all that meat. Yeah, they that's can't exactly really why. propel themselves. Yeah, okay. they can't really get up <laughs> in the air. But yeah, but they can like you know jump onto things. Like I was driving down the road the other day and I saw a turkey up on a guardrail. Oh. He was just chilling there. Well, that's that's, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. So, anyways, yeah, I was just watch. I just saw some screen caps of that episode, uh, and one of them is the turkey wearing Chucky's pants. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, I forgot that moment. Classic. <laughs> and Chucky is like behind the bushes yes. naked. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> the things that we do for turkey yeah. as Americans. Maybe Seriously. it's just a satire on America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have another one. Great. This is another classic. Of course, it's Hey Arnold. Duh. And if you guys read my interview with the creator of Hey Arnold, he said that Arnold's Thanksgiving is one of his favorite episodes. And Why is that? Because basically Arnold wants like the perfect Thanksgiving, one that's nothing to go wrong. But his grandma confuses Thanksgiving for Fourth of July. So, <laughs> so she like Classic makes mistake. this like huge Independence Day celebration, and Arnold's like grandma this is not the right holiday so he does he gets like tripped out about that and then meanwhile helga you know arnold's long lost love um she has a broken home not broken but like her parents give her older sister olga more attention and she feels like left out so she leaves the house and like wanders around and she stumbles into arnold and they bond because both of them don't have perfect homes and plus they're in love and they're low key in love, yeah. So that was a cute moment. Aww. Yeah. So yep. it's just basically a story about, you know, bonding over uh, hardship, I yeah. guess. Yeah. And just showing that, like, n the holidays aren't always, like, a joyous time for some people. Yeah. And we're yeah. not all that different. So did they mm -hmm. end up eating turkey together or what? Or do you um, not want to spoil the ending? You guys have to watch it for yourself. <laughs> It's probably on YouTube somewhere, <laughs> so let me know on Twitter if you guys watch it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I can share one now. Okay. Okay, so obviously um, Friends is mm. a big, they ha they've had like a Thanksgiving episode every single year. Yeah. But every time, like when you were talking about the Bob's Burgers episode mm -hmm. with the turkey in the to toilet, I kind of remember like Monica wearing the turkey on her head and it's oh become that iconic like sh yeah. screencast. I feel like, yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah. Mm. And um, another one of my memories of Friends Thanksgiving is uh, the trifle that Rachel makes. Wait, you're not a big Friends fan. Um, right? I didn't watch it, like, religiously. I've watched a few episodes because it's on every channel ever, so you, you can never not watch Friends. But I feel yeah. like, is it on Netflix? I feel like I would want to yes. watch in the beginning. Yeah, you totally should. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, you should watch from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it went on for like 10 years. 
That so, will take so long. So you, <laughs> it will take up. It took me about what six months to watch the Jesus, whole thing. Jesus, that is so, that is a commitment. But I know you're always looking for new shows this to watch. True. So this maybe that'll true. keep you occupi- occupied. Yeah. The next time you'll need new suggestions. You'll come out of friends and you'll be like, what happened? <laughs> Where am I? Perfect. So, yeah, try that. So, anyways, uh, in the thanks- one of the Thanksgiving episodes, Rachel Green makes a trifle. And she's, mm-hmm. like, a terrible cook. And what happens is I think she gets the pages in her cookbook mixed up. Like, page flips or something Uh-oh. happens. And so, it's, like, really gross layers of stuff. It's Ew. basically, like, a layered dish. And one is, mm. like... There's, like, delicious things. Like, there's, like, brown sugar or something. And then there's, like, ground beef. And then there's <laughs> peas. And then it's, like, pineapple. Yeah. And oh, my Marshmallows. God. And it's, like, all these disgusting things. And she doesn't realize that those flavors they would never glow. go together. Mm-hmm. So she ends up serving it. And nobody wants to hurt her feelings. Aww. So, like, some people actually eat it. And I that saw... Is a, that is a good friend. Well, yeah. that's why the show's yeah. called Friends. Well, yeah. <laughs> so... I just saw, as I was walking into this room, that BuzzFeed actually made the trifle. Of course they did. And they tried it. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, uh, that's such good content. I wish I would have done that. <laughs> so, yes, of course, classic friends, memories. Cool. And another one, Um, I mean, this is like childhood classic, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. That comes on every year. And I don't know, that's like just one of the – like a big tr- part of everyone's childhood. All those peanuts yeah. specials, the Halloween, All the Brown. Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. Mm-hmm. I I love that because it just means it's the start of Christmas. See, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not even ready for Thanksgiving. I don't even know what I'm cooking yet. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. I know. AKA I, today. I am not prepared. I am not prepared. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Your family yeah, can cook. For this me. is true. I'm just going to eat everything. Like, I'm just here to eat, you guys, and yeah, then I'm leaving. Exactly. Well, I can't leave because I live there, but I can, I can, just, I can just go upstairs. <laughs> you can go to my room. Bye. Slam's door. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, do you have any other ones? Uh, any other um, favorite episodes? Any other favorites? Actually, let me look on my Twitter real quick. Someone wrote in my mentions. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hashtag best today, of Hashtag course. best today. All right, so Shawal Ross, a friend to the podcast. Oh, Shawal, hey, what's love up? Love Shawal. He loves um, the Gossip Girls Thanksgiving episodes, Avi. Ooh. But he has a, because there are like three Gossip Girl Thanksgiving cool. episodes. But he says he has a special f- place for the first one because it has friendship and family values. Wow. Yeah. That's so heartwarming, Shawal. Yeah. My heart is throbbing with love. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. Did you have any other favorite shows? Yes. This one's very relevant because okay. it's Gilmore Girls. Ooh. And Gilmore Girls. Yeah, I was going to ask you if there are any Gilmore Girls ones. Yes. Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, four new episodes start on Friday. Yes, promo. The day after Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, at midnight, which uh, is not okay. happening for me. I'm going to be sleeping. Okay. But <laughs> they uh, in Gilmore Girls, they have a episode where they go to four thanksgiving dinners that is stressful it is very stressful (laughs) but the gilmore girls love to eat that's what they're known for and they're like okay we're gonna do this and they decide to forego rolls at every Mm -hmm. single meal so they can have more room so first they go to mrs kim's house Mm -hmm. and she is very traditional korean so she has tofurkey Mm. and she has just like uh, like She's, like, vegan and gluten-free and all this stuff. She doesn't believe in sugar. Okay. Um, so they have, like, kind of all the gross food, so that doesn't really fill them up. They go to Suki's house. And, and that's the chef, right? Suki's a chef. Okay. But she gets very drunk that year because oh. <laughs> her husband decides to deep fry the turkey, which goes against all of her chef values. Uh-oh. A turkey should never be deep fried it should be always be like basted and roasted yeah. in the oven so she gets super drunk and so then they leave suki mm-hmm. and like that's a mess over there <laughs> and they then they go to um of course emily and richards okay or no they go to luke's okay and luke luke has you know of course feeds them every year mm-hmm. and so sweet so beautiful 
right? <laughs> Love. <laughs> and then, then they go to Emily and Richard's, uh, Lorelai's grandparents' house. Got it. And, of course, they get in a fight because they never get along. So they end up leaving before pie or anything. They miss the pie. That's the best part. Yes. It's so dumb. So then, <laughs> at the end, they go back to Luke's, and Lorelai's like, didn't have to give up the rolls anyways this <laughs> whole time. And then Luke, because he's an amazing person, mm-hmm. pulls out a bag of rolls behind the counter. I was like, he is hey, such yeah. a sweetheart. Can you believe it? Okay, I'm acting like I watch the show, but I feel like <laughs> we, we talk about <laughs> Gilmore Girls like every day on Fuse and in person. So I feel like I have a connection <laughs> to these characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Actually, I I watched a few episodes of Gilmore Girls like when I was in high school like on and off but i never watched it like back to back i guess that's another show that you put in my netflix queue yeah like start watching but i'm not gonna be able to watch it before the premiere but that's okay you're definitely not going to but between gilmore girls and friends you're gonna be really busy this is true i'm not gonna have a life yeah i mean you might have to start working from home (laughs) this is true (laughs) i'll never see you again sorry not sorry do you have any other favorite episodes for Thanksgiving? Um, no, that's all I got. Oh, man. I all right. That was a lot. Though. Those were really good ones. Let's talk about our songs of the week. Do you have any, uh, do you have your song of the week ready? Yes. Okay, what is it? <laughs> okay, so in the theme of Thanksgiving, and because I'm always a fat ass, I'm always eating, I... <laughs> My song of the week is Weird Al Yankovic, Eat It. <laughs> Can you please sing it? <laughs> His parody cover of Michael Jackson's oh, Eat It. Because, yeah, like, he's talking about food the whole time. And I was like, I totally understand where you're coming from. So I just figured just with, like, so the relatable. Ho- <laughs> with, like, the holidays and stuff, that would have been, like, a good, like, driving song to play. Driving song? Like, while yeah, you're driving? Like, or driving you like, to it'll hunger? driving you to eat a lot of food oh yeah it's true <laughs> yeah because he just likes is telling you just eat it <laughs> just eat it yes so that's such a cheesy pick but I, that was just like stuck in my head you know what all the teenage <laughs> boys listening will love that pick okay <laughs> what's yours mine is um not quite throwbacky but uh it's it's the song is called it's thanksgiving by nicole westbrook so, okay i was wondering why you were watching this okay guys if you don't know Emily and I sit next to each other, and, like, on the corner of my eye, I saw the video, and I was like, is this going to be what she's talking about, or she's just, like, listening to this for fun? <laughs> well, well, I would have watched it for fun, too, <laughs> if we weren't talking about it. But, basically, it's, like, one of those Rebecca Black Friday yeah. videos where Patrice... Patrice Wilson, the guy who makes all the rich girls songs. He is an icon. <laughs> <laughs> Forever and ever. Uh, he wrote this song, it's, th- it's Thanksgiving. And hot take, I think it's the original You Name It challenge. Oh, snap. Because she she's, she lists all the food that she wants, and then she has this sick rap breakdown in the <laughs> middle where they're all about to pray. They're, like, all yeah. holding hands around the table in the music okay. video. And they're all about to pray. And then all of a sudden, she just starts spitting bars. Whoa. <laughs> and everyone's like, whoa, Nicole, we never knew you could <laughs> rap. <laughs> Wait, that sounds low-key dope. I'm going to listen to yes! this after. Yes, <laughs> it's so dope. It's the worst lyrics of all oh time, but it's so good. She's like, the turkey, a mess potatoes, a. See? Naming all the lyrics. Oh, yeah. Just like green beans, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes. You name it. Yeah. <laughs> So I think this, those those two are really good picks. Yeah, very should. very on trend with the holiday season. Oh, also we have a a playlist on Spotify. Oh yeah, we put it on the bottom of every post, so it'll be updated with all these goodies. And all these songs are from the stuff that we've talked about in the past episodes. So <laughs> should we add <laughs> those songs on there? Is it like not evergreen enough? I don't think um, I, maybe people won't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like people new people coming to the podcast yeah f- like 10 they'll episodes from now they'll be like like what uh what is this it's thanksgiving song and why <laughs> is it so terrible and they won't understand the context you know what they'll just have to learn they'll learn the greatness learn. yeah or <laughs> go back and listen to past yeah. episodes like you all should do yes anyways 
I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, eat up. Share all your, like, favorite Thanksgiving foods with us on Twitter and, like, all your yummy plates. And, yeah. yeah. It doesn't even have to be, like, Hey Arnold themed. It could be anything. Yeah. We just really <laughs> want to talk. We just really need friends. Yes. <laughs> I'm just thankful for you, Bianca, and I'm thankful Aww. for, um, I'm thankful for everyone listening out there and thankful for Fuse for letting us have this podcast. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, follow us on Twitter and yeah and like rate us on itunes listen to us everywhere in your car in your grandma's house while you're prepping your thanksgiving meal yeah yeah shout out to your grandma yeah shout out all the grandmas out there (laughs) okay see ya bye